Hey, 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 what's going on? Welcome back to Conversations with Carrie. And y'all, I got that new, new. I mean like that new, new today on my book review. And y'all already know, it's book review time. You better work it, you better get it. You better work it, you better get it. <laughs> All right, y'all, when I tell you I got that new, new, I got that new Francine Rivers, okay? Um, the ladies mind. If you've seen my previous uh, Francine Rivers book review, Y'all, I am a Francine Rivers fan. So let, let me first say that before I go into my book review. I am a fan. Um, Redeeming Love. I actually did not see it in the movie theaters because I kind of don't want it to taint <laughs> the, the, I love the book. It's one of my favorite books, which as an avid reader, that's hard to say, but I will say Redeeming Love is one of my favorite books. Um, so when I saw that The Lady's Mind, I was like, okay, <laughs> I'm here for it. I did love it. <laughs> you know, after I was so excited to get it, and listen, when I to pay a regular price for a new release on Amazon, that means I, I really want the book. But again, I because I always love Francine Rivers, um, and she'll tell you that this was her pandemic book. Um, so she went back to her romantic novel writing, you know, of course, with God uh, in, and so, you know, everything's pure, ain't nobody around here, uh, you know, fornicating and everything else in the book, which uh, that I appreciate because... I, just, I, ain't, I ain't in that place so therefore I ain't trying to read about it um, but again I, I'm not sure I, it was a little slow for me and this is even hard for me to say because I love me some friends St. Rivers y'all it just it just it was a little slower than I wanted it to be I was kind of like okay how long are these people not gonna like each other now I, well first let me let me back up a second <laughs> let me tell you a little bit about the characters so there's a one woman and man, um, obviously, but that she is, she kind of has, gets exiled from her home. Um, her mother's new husband basically doesn't like her and she's an opinionated, bold uh, woman. And this is back in like the gold rush time in the 1800s. So again, even that part of the book, I probably should have paused and thought, is this going to, like, do I want to read this? Because... Back in the 1800s, this is right after basically like Civil War and stuff. And I was like, oh Lord, that's when like they had, some areas hadn't even freed the slaves yet. <sighs> and so, eh, I didn't really like love that. And then also like the, her love interest or well, for so long, she was like, I'm never getting married. I don't want to do this. Um, and of course he wins her over, but he also finds a relationship with the Lord on his own. And that just kind of adds to it. But it was almost like a little too perfect at times. And I don't know. Y'all know, yeah, sometimes the romance book, it can go either way. But I will say that um, I, I felt like it was very vivid, vivid, like I could see it. And that's one thing that I think Francine Rivers does really good. Um, the storyline, again, this could have been a novel probably like probably half the size. Let's see, how many pages is it? 400 something pages. Yeah, it probably could have been 200 something. Um, I mean, again, everything came full circle and it's, it's, it's a, you know, a, a well-written story. It's just that it just dragged a little bit and it was a little very predictable. I don't know. This was no redeeming love. I'll put it that way. Um, so, yeah, I mean, if you're a Francine Rivers fan, you'll probably like love it. But it just doesn't compare to like her, like the, uh, is it the Mark of the Lion series? Like it, it just doesn't compare to like her. Ooh, there, there wasn't just like this deep moment. It was a, it's a fluffy book. <laughs> That's the best way to put it. It's a fluffy. If you like fluffy, this is here for it. And also, again, ain't nobody trying to be depressed around here reading. So let me, let me say that. So again, The Lady's Mind, Francine Rivers, that new, new. I probably, I'm probably going to send it to um, Half Price Bookstore, which I normally don't do with books from authors that I really enjoy. But yeah, I don't think I need to hold on to this one. I think I'm good. All right, y'all. Thank you for joining Conversations with Carrie. I'll have another book review for you soon. Take care.